state NLC chapter has described subsidy withdrawal as a suicidal policy by the federal government. The NLC and other trade union buddies are demanding the reversal of fuel price, increase of salaries and minimum wage and most especially an end to anti-people policies. The planned protest could not extend to other parts of the capital because the Nigerian police barricaded the labor union. Beatrice Kuruzi has more on this. Nigerian workers in Borno state entering the labor secretariat for the solidarity protest against the federal government's removal of fuel subsidy and the attendant economic hardships in the country. From the labor Um, today is our day that we are asked nationwide to come out and protest against the bad policies against the poor, the poor man, the terror and the terror workers. We are demanding for 190 per meter so that we can take our children to school so that all of us will go to work in a more dignified way. Now, this issue of subsidy removal is a suicide. So we are appealing to the government of the day to allow the masses breathe. The Secretariat, they marched to the streets of Meduguri. The protesters were blocked at the NUJ center by the Nigerian police. It was later revealed that the barricade was in line with an agreement with the union and the police that the protests will not be extended beyond the capital for fear of possible unrest. It's a policy that is very bad and it's not implementable and it's not acceptable to Nigerians and workers in general. This is one of the demands. And there are policies like uh, increase in bad, increase in school tuition, tuition fee, that is especially federal government colleges, secondary school, where our children go to school. People are paying 40,000 naira for annum. They have increased, suddenly they increased the tuition fee to 100,000 naira. 100,000, of which is not, it is not even affordable to us as workers in Nigeria. Therefore, we are saying no to this policy and it's anti workers, anti full anti, uh, anti masses policy. The protesters, who are hopeful that the federal government will yield to their demands, are waiting to see if any action will be taken.